Hello, everyone. I introduce you to my little guy, Ari Maurer, Maurer, as my husband would say. Look how, say hi, Papa. Say hi, Papa. He's our little crab, as you can see here. And he is the beautiful, most perfect example of what I'll be speaking about today, which is true, long-lasting abundance. And um, I'm going to get going on that subject soon, and I felt that Ari is just such a beautiful symbol of that. And what is true abundance? Because I think many of us um, kind of in this world of form get a little confused of what is abundance. We think that it comes from outside sources, and um, true abundance is very different. And I feel that with the story of Ari coming into my life, um, I'll be able to share personally how I've been able to create true abundance in my life and inspire you to also create that for yourself. So um, I wanted to go ahead and get started on the lesson. I will be doing this for a couple Thursdays. I'll be sharing with you um, key ideas from my book, Live Your Happy. Yee, look, Ori likes it. <laughs> right, Papa? You like Live Your Happy? So I'll share a couple of chapters, a couple things from my book every Thursday that I feel are empowering. Um, I'm doing this for us. Um, I think that's just a good daily reminder, weekly reminder of where, where true happiness comes from and how, how um, we can be happy 24-7. It's our divine right and our inheritance, actually. It's our function. So I want to make sure that every week we all get a dose of that inspiration, not only for you, but for me, for him, for everyone, for the sonship, because we're all one mind. So let's get started here. I'm going to start on chapter eight. And before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and hand off this little guy to, um, to Jennifer. <laughs> she is, she is um, our nanny and she's amazing. She's studying to be a nurse. So whoop, whoop to all the nurses out there. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just so grateful. That's also another symbol of true abundance is having Jennifer in our lives and having her help me as I juggle um, at this time, have the honor to juggle a career as a speaker and as a happy teacher as well as at the same time be a mama. So um, that in itself is a beautiful symbol of true abundance. And I'm excited to share the key of how I've been able to create that in my life, which has a lot to do with trust and just allowing for the witnesses in life to show up for you as um, self-love. When you start to have a lot of self-love and trust, you start to, all these witnesses and symbols and people start to come into your life to help you. And it's amazing. Um, someone that's also helping me is is um, Jennifer. Um and Stephanie and Johan and also um, German, which is actually on here. He is helping us um, with um, the Spanish as the Spanish ambassador in Chile. And he's getting the word out for the Spanish book. So big shout out to German. Herman, eres increíble. Gracias por tu ayuda. Eh, it touches my heart. It makes me want to cry. Um, also, Johan um, from... Um, Sweden. She helps me with the English posts. So all the posts that you see online, it's not me. It's my team. And it's my team that has come with me allowing and letting go and allowing people to come into my life to help. Um, because when you're living your purpose, you really don't have to control or manipulate. Um, they will show up. The little angels will show up. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and see if maybe if I tag Stephanie, she will find us because it's the first time we do this. And um, uh, funny. Um, I wanted her to be on the call. Or maybe German, if you can send her a link of this, that would be great so she can join us. Um, if you can send her a link through Messenger, that would be great because she really wanted to join us and see how this works. Um, so this is my first time pretty much doing Facebook Live. And I have a couple people in the room. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. We love our little shoes that you gave us for Ari that have the fortune cookie. Um, they're so cute. He'll be probably big enough to wear them soon. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Kathy. Kathy is amazing. She's also a Pathways of Light minister. 
Krish and I are going to start relationship counseling with her next week. Um, so we're definitely going to share about that and our experiences with her. She's going to write a relationship book that's coming out um, soon. And um, um, Chris and I are happy to be part of that. Um, let's see who else we have here. We have Carol. Hi, Carol. And um, let's see who else. We have about six people here. Um, and there's other people joining us. Hi, Florence from France. Um, she's a beautiful soul as well. Thank you. Say hi to Frank for me. And all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be riffing for about 15 minutes um, at the end of the um, talk. I will be giving a practical practice that you can use every day, a daily practice you can do create to create this abundance. Now, one of the reasons I felt that self-help books have never really genuinely helped me is because I didn't practice it, and because it went in one one, it went. I read it with one eye, and it went out the other eye. <laughs> it was not helpful for me. Um, I was a self help junkie, and I wasn't seeing any results in my life. On the contrary, my life would get worse. Um, I started to get into heavy drinking. Um, um, getting very promiscuous back in the day. I would. Um, <laughs> basically lost myself um, in in the form in the world of form and as you have read in my book for those of you that have read my book I was able to find this journey of which I was able to cultivate self-love and begin to really live a life of happiness that has nothing to do with form and really live happy 24 7 without compromise without anything in form like shit can hit the fan and I can be with a happy smile now, I'm not saying that I don't get sad. I'm not saying that I don't go through my days um, of, of, you know, especially when Ari was born and my, my challenges. Um, but overall, um, I feel that um, I always get back. I get back because I know the way my mind works. Um, I feel also there's a lot of books out there for people or women that have got a baby or are going to have a baby. Um, and they give you all these tools on how to help the baby sleep more or how the baby you know, to eat better or whatever it is. And um, I, I like those, I think those books are helpful, but at the same time, I feel that it's really, really important. Nothing is going to work in your life if you don't know the way your mind works, if you don't know that there's two thought systems in your mind, peace, love or fear, love or fear, love or fear. And whichever teacher you're listening to in your mind, the ego or the Holy Spirit is going to be your experience. So it doesn't matter if your son or daughter sleeps 12 hours a day, right? if you don't have your mind in check because he could sleep 12 hours a day and then you get up in the morning in a bad mood um, with your husband because he didn't, you know, take out the garbage the way he was supposed to, even though your baby slept 12 hours. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter. All these things in form don't matter as much as how your perception is to keep your perception in check, to keep your perception aligned to the thoughts of Holy Spirit, to the thoughts of love. That's what's going to catapult you into a happiness, amazing happiness in your life. Um, Hi, Omar. Thank you for joining us. We love to have masculine energy here. Um, we love spiritual men that are getting their healing on, conscious men. Um, my husband's one of those, so a lot of love to you. Monica, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for your support and for your posts. I always um, see all the amazing suggestions you give me as a mama. Hi, Liz. Love you, girl. I hope that you join our nine-week program. We would love to have you. I'm personally inviting you now live. Um, Florence, thank you. You look amazing and back to work. Thank you. Ari's really cute. Thank you so much, Florence. Yes, I am back to work. Um, it took some time. Um, I was really taking the time to be with my baby and I don't really think it was a lot of time anyways. Um, I took 40 days off and I thought I was going to be out of the loop for a while, but, um, I really feel called and my purpose in life is not just to be a mama. Uh, my purpose and mission in life is to serve. And I want to be able to do them both equally. And why not? Why can't us women be empowered and be a mother and have a career um, and be able to help people at the same time? Um, what happens is, is that when you create that purpose and that mission and it's aligned and it's really coming from a space of love and trust, beautiful people will come into your life to help you. You'll reflect amazing witnesses to be able to help you so that you have the time to be able to serve. So right now, you know, I've hired, you know, an amazing manager, which has already found us on Facebook. Hi, Steph. Um, I also have hired a nanny that's helping us here around the house. She's a beautiful soul. 
and also um, my husband is amazing he's helping me with my brand as well um, I'm sure he's really happy to see me live on Facebook because he's been telling me for a whole year to do Facebook live and I have resisted it and not only resisted it I wasn't called to do it and one thing I don't do is I don't do things if I don't feel called <laughs> I don't do things if I don't feel spirit move through me I need to have spirit show me the symbol of going on Facebook live and um, I wasn't feeling it. I was feeling that it was just overly rated. I felt like everybody was doing it. Um, I didn't want to just be a talking head. So I want to see how I do this so it's more interactive, so it's more fun. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on the talk title today, which is how to create true long-lasting abundance. And I'm going to riff about this for five minutes, and then I'll give you the practice, and we'll be done. These are going to be short, fun interviews. Um, every Thursday, I will also... Hopefully, um, show you how Ari's growing and show you um, where, where I'm at with being a mama. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read from Live Your Happy. This is um, page 95, False Abundance. So let me go over what is false abundance, and then let me go ahead and go over what is true abundance and how can we create long-lasting abundance in our lives. So um, false abundance is basically when you feel like that your source of abundance is outside of you. That's false abundance. False abundance is believing that money can make you happy, um, believing that you're abundance if, abundant if you have enough money in the bank, if you get accolades, if you get you know noticed at work, if you get a trophy, if you could buy yourself a new suit. Um, that is what is false abundance of this world. It's not, it is abundance in form, but it's not true abundance and it won't give you long lasting happiness because when you have acquired that, that space in your job or when you've acquired that suit or had, have that money in the bank or when you've acquired that trophy, ultimately it's not going to be enough. You're going to want another trophy. You're going to want another accolade. You're going to want, you know, to get promoted even more. You're going to want a better Mercedes. The C-Class is not enough. You're going to want the SL or the GL or whatever. Um, so it's it's never enough. You're going to want to continue chasing the carrot. So I call that the BS abundance system. Okay, that's the ego's BS abundance system. So what does that mean? It's the bullshit abundance system. <laughs> so we want to have true abundance if we want to live happiness at a 10, 24-7. And what does that look like? Well, true abundance is, get this, and it's a really hard at the beginning to understand because you're like, what? That's what I heard when I first read this at the, in the Pathways of Light material when I became a minister. Pathways shares in their material, and it's also shared in the beautiful spiritual book that's called The Course of Miracles, which I love, which I teach from. True abundance in A Course of Miracles and in, um, in my book that I share is recognizing that you are as God created you. That is what true abundance is. You are as God created you. Now, what does that mean? Well, you understand that the constant awareness of love in your mind is knowing that it's your natural inheritance. And you know that this abundance is rightfully yours. Okay? True abundance is recognizing you are as God created you. That means that you feel no lack within. So true abundance is recognizing that you feel no lack within so that you don't have to roam around the world endlessly trying to get your fix. Can you guys identify with roaming all over the place trying to get your fix? You're like, <laughs> you're like a dog, like a scavenger dog all over the place looking for happiness and looking for your abundance where you can't find it. Now, Let's think about the current suicides that occurred right now with um, that, the designer and with that famous chef, okay? Let's talk about that for a second. If, if true abundance made us happy and abundance in the world um, of form was true, then why is it that these people in form have so much, have like two houses, have various houses, have a closet full of clothes, have all these things in material forms that seems like they're happy, and that they have it all, but in truth, they're not happy and so much so that they go to the step of depression. They get depressed, of course, and they end up basically letting go of their lives, basically 
checking out of this world of form. And I think that that says a lot. It says a lot about our society. It says a lot about how we're starting to change our minds. Thank God that abundance is not everything um, a fo in form. And starting to really start to claim our inheritance and our function, which is happiness, and claim true abundance, which is recognizing you have everything and you lack nothing. And you start to walk around with a happier face um, things outside bother you less. That is true abundance. Are you getting me, guys? Are you getting me here? If you're getting me, give me a thumbs up. Um, my amazing husband is on is on the Facebook Live. Hi, baby. He's at Starbucks. Um, he is um, he's the one that inspired this Facebook Live because I didn't want to do Facebook Live. So thanks, honey, for being such a light in my life and inspire me to step out of my comfort zone and be here today and for also respecting the fact that I had to I needed some time to get here um, so let's go ahead and do the practice real quick so the practice um, this week um, is called an abundance prayer so it's on page 98 and basically what you do is you write a short prayer and you I want you to tweak it to do it with your own words so this prayer is found, if you have my book, on page 98. If um, you don't have the book, I will definitely copy and paste that excerpt here. I will have somebody on my team do that in the comments. If Christian, if you have it, or if Stephanie, you're, you can go ahead and copy and paste that off the book. That would be great. Um, if you have it in PDF form, if not, I will take care of that later. But I do want to give you guys an example of what that looks like. And you guys can go ahead and tweak it. You can copy and paste it and make it your own. All right, I want something that inspires you, something that makes you want to wake up in the morning and read it, and I want you to bring it into your life. This is all about living your happy. It's all about living the principles of my book, which is not being a victim of the world that you see, taking responsibility even if you don't want to, and recognizing every single day when you get up in the morning that you have everything, you lack nothing, and you don't need anything outside of you to complete you because you are complete in God as God because you are as God created you. Now, I'm going to go ahead to close out here and read the prayer to you. Um, we're exactly 17 minutes and I got to go because I have a baby to attend to. I'm also interviewing um, some folks on my YouTube channel. Um, that's something that you could check out on Tuesdays. I have a brand new interview for you um, every single Tuesday. Um, different guests that are coming. They're starting to um, starting to have a lot of big shots coming into my channel. So definitely take a look at that. If you guys can post, um, Christian, German, or Stephanie can post on the comments my YouTube channel. That would be grateful. I would be grateful. That would be awesome. Let's go ahead and abundance prayer. Here is my prayer, and I invite you to make one for yourself and read it in the morning and read it at night. Let's begin. Thank you, God, for the awareness of the abundance that is in my mind. I am willing to understand my inheritance at a deeper level. I let go of my identification with my body and all external things. I step into your arms and recognize that I have everything and that I lack nothing. I stand in truth. I am one with all, whole and holy. Thank you, God, for never abandoning me. I'm going to say that again. Thank you, God, for never abandoning me, for always being here within. And thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit as a divine tool for realizing awareness, which never really leaves. May God's will be done. I love you guys. Till next time, also check out my nine-week program that is starting in July 31st. We will place a link here on the comments. Much love to all, and till next time. Bye-bye.